Hey everybody, it's me, Leo, currently. Okay, let's get started. Okay, Big Brother announces another special prize for Stephanie, a pampering ma massage and facial. This was last night's highlights. If accepted, the house will have no hot water and appliances for the day. Housemates want Stephanie to accept it. Stephanie is being like, I don't want to accept it. I don't want to accept it. Bullshit. She wanted to accept it. So she accepted it. And after that, Tiffany walks into the garden. Because Tiffany can probably see you through the bullshit that Stephanie's playing right now. Gemma has concerns with her biological clock. She should have frozen those eggs, though. Jeremy tells Big Brother that the mood of the house is good, but there might be a royal rumble in the garden in ten minutes. There was no fighting today. Gemma tries to heal Darren's constipation by massaging him and shit like that. And, like, Darren has been constipated for, like, the past couple of days, apparently. We didn't know. It wasn't like Janice Doc Dickinson, where she was like, I've been constipated for eight days. <laughs> and Gemma walks into Darren in the toilet. Christopher and Scotty T grill Jeremy on the situation between him, Stephanie, and Stephanie's boyfriend. And... They tell Jeremy that he shouldn't be having these, he shouldn't be holding on to these feelings and stuff like that. He shouldn't be keeping these feelings shut like that. We are now. Gemma is now still trying to heal Darren from constipation while Jeremy and Stephanie get cozy in the bedroom. Tiffany can't live on with the kumbaya. Tiffany is bored with the house's energy right now. She really wants, she is ready for a fight. She came into the house for a fight. To be uncomfortable and to fight because that's what she knows and likes. Nobody is giving her a reason to beef with others. Christopher is glad that the UK woman started out their differences. Daniela tells Stephanie that Sam will be there for her. But Stephanie believes she fucked it up. Which is true. She fucked it up. Housemates gather in the Forgotten Theater. Housemates guess what cocktails were made for them by Gemma and Stephanie. And person who guess, guesses the mo most ingredients gets, they must drink the whole cocktail before guessing. One point equals one guess, correct guess ingredient. Host mate with the most points gets immunity. It reminds me of this one time, which is up on my channel. And uh, I was at Universal Studios and I was drinking this uh, fucked up concoction. When I swallowed it, I threw it up. I, I fucking threw it up. I can't... Like, I thought I could stomach shit. I can't stomach that. I threw that shit up. It, but props to Darren because he earned the most points and Darren is the house final housemate to be immune. The party... they Big Brother sets up a masquerade ball in the theater for the final party for Immunity Weekend. Six invitations are pa will be passed out. Three invitations are already passed out to the immune housemates, Gemma, Stephanie, and Darren. Each Gemma, Stephanie, and Darren must choose one housemate that to ban from the party. So Gemma uninvites Christopher, Stephanie uninvites Tiffany, and Darren uninvites Daniela. Apparently it's because all three of them are sick. That that was their excuse. That's what their excuse was. But Tiffany wanted to be at that ball. Before the masquerade ball, Tiffany is not happy from being banished from the ball. She feels that she doesn't belong in the into the house. She doesn't mesh with the house dynamics. Tiffany wants Gemma to... Tiffany wa Gemma wants Tiffany to hang out with the rest of the house. Tiffany tells Gemma she operates different, differently from the rest of the house. At the masquerade ball, <laughs> Tiffany and... Daniela start pouring out champagne in the kitchen, and Daniela's like, no, you can have the rest of the bottle, and Tiffany's like, damn, I got a whole bottle of Prosecco to myself, and she, yeah, Christopher and Daniela are tired, and Tiffany, and Daniela 
tells Christopher that she thinks that Tiffany should crash the party. But Tiffany is getting her, turned up by herself in the toilet, in the bathroom. And apparently she hasn't masturbated since she was sequestered in that. <laughs> since she was sequestered in the hotel. And then at the party, Gemma tells John how she includes Tiffany. And nobody knows how to get Tiffany to feel accepted. Tiffany is finishes masturbating in the toilet, and she got turned up with one bottle of Prosecco because she wanted to get drunk. Ten minutes after the ball, the housemates in the garden get <laughs> Tiffany to join in with them in the smoking area. By 11.06 p.m., John assists Gemma in the toilet. Tiffany suggests to Scotty T to move to California and get in and, like, live the culture and dominate California. While Stephanie is asleep, the rest of the house gather on the couches to play Truth or Dare. Okay. Tiffany is dared to make out with Scotty T, and Chris dared Jeremy to make out with make out in tongue Tiffany. It's a game, is what everybody is saying. It's a game. Tiffany then kisses Scotty T and Jeremy again and tells which one she liked the best. Tiffany says that Scotty T knows how to eat some good pussy and refers both men to the McDonald's menu. Jeremy a cheeseburger and Scotty T a Big Mac. Oh, just wait. Just wait. During the Truth or Dare game, Tiffany asks Darren if he ever fantasizes on cheating about cheating on his wife. Darren's reaction was hashtag ox. He swears on his family that he wouldn't chat on his family. Darren is upset by Tiffany's question, and Scotty T and Tiffany get a bit of frisky and then get a bit frisky and then Scotty enters the pool with Jeremy and then they crawl to Tiffany and do some fun sexual things. Jeremy confesses to Stephanie what happened during the Truth or Dare game. Stephanie's pissed. But Tiffany makes mischief in the shower with Scotty T. And, like, she saw Scotty T's penis. She saw the turbo deck. And she's like, damn, I could... Damn, I I would break my back on that. And I'm thinking that before Scotty T leaves the house, Tiffany will probably leave the house in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Tiffany will probably leave the house in a wheelbarrow. Up for eviction are Scotty T, Jeremy, John, Daniela, Christopher, and Tiffany. And evictions today so yeah so we'll find out later on today after probably this video is uploaded who's evicted so on to bit on the side megan felt uncomfortable and disappointed with what she saw megan called tiffany desperate because megan was on the panel david guest got to be on bots and had to do the interview he was feeling better now he had strep throat tonsillitis etc and that, I think that's why he was level-headed. He didn't say any crazy stories or anything like that. Stephanie, David said that Stephanie's professional problems could be worse. Well, because of this Jeremy situation, her problems have become worse. And I'm sad that he didn't name drop Blaze and Minnelli. Stephanie isn't forgiving Jeremy for, t for snogging. Jeremy for snogging Tiffany. Gemma and Darren talk about getting Botox. These are the exclusives. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gemma will never give anyone a rim job. No asshole licking for Gemma. I wouldn't act lick anybody's asshole. Hell, I wouldn't even, like, I would penetrate it, but only if they want it. Like, I don't want my asshole penetrated or given a rim job. No. I'm thinking that John or Jeremy might be evicted later on tonight. And Scotty T or Danielle will be safe. And I can't wait for Ryland to go into the house later this week for a task. Yay! So, that's it for now. I will see ya.